Uh, we are now joined by political analyst and former Democratic Khomeini Nominki Konst to explain who uh, Kamala has chosen and, and what it means. Hi, thank you very much for joining us. So, um, so who is this lucky person that's going to keep Kamala com company? I actually think we're the lucky ones. Uh, Tim Walz is, you know, he, he, he's the, the perfect for the ticket. Not only is he very likable, but he's a coalition builder. This is a man who has a tremendous amount of experience in leadership. Uh, he's the head of the Democratic Governors Association as the governor of Minnesota, a very popular governor of Minnesota. Minnesota is part of that heartland that is so important uh, for this election, which is why they, Kamala Harris and her campaign said that they were trying to win over that part of the country, whether it's Pennsylvania, Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Ohio. I mean, these some of these states have been out of reach, but some of them have determined the last few elections. Uh, Tim Waltz was in Congress uh, for over a decade. Uh, he was elected um, as the co-chair of the Veterans Job Committee. He's a veteran. He was uh, in the Army National Guard for over two decades. He's a former public school teacher who's a social studies teacher. As governor of Minnesota, he has passed tremendous legislation, pro-workers legislation. Uh, he has he has fought against big banks uh, in 2008 when we were discussing whether we bail out big banks. He was vociferously against using taxpayer funds to bail out those big banks. I think this is going to be incredibly important in this election when uh, we're we're, we're really fighting for the soul of America at this point and trying to rebuild the middle class. And the Trump uh, advance administration or campaign, excuse me, uh, is going to be campaigning on workers issues. I mean, they, they've actively said this, but Tim Walz is very popular with labor. Uh, he has passed you know, legislation like free uh, public school lunches and 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 um, he has he has funded public transit. I mean, these are issues that we are debating across America, and he has been able to do this in his state, which, by the way, has a lot of rural uh, voters. I mean, he's been able to build this coalition in his state, and I think this is going to be great for, for the ticket. He's also quite vocal on women's rights, hasn't he, enshrined abortion rights into uh, state law as well, which is, I know is a big talking point out there at the moment. He has, and, and he's also supported IVF. He's talked about his personal struggle with his partner mm -hmm. in conceiving uh, with his now internet famous daughter, Hope. She was named Hope for a reason, he said, because of that journey um, in reproductive challenges. I think this is going to speak to a lot of voters across the country. Many are saying that uh, reproductive health, not just abortion rights, but reproductive health in general is going to determine this election. Uh, he really checks all the boxes. And not only that, uh, he's been able to take the country by storm um, on TV the last couple of weeks, saying things like, you know, the other side is just weird. I think it's a great balance. He is going to shine, but also be supportive of Kamala Harris uh, and let her shine he, as well. He, ha he has been very vocal about our um, Trump and J.D. Vance, hasn't he? Have you had a reaction yet from the Trump campus to what they think to this choice? I mean, you've seen them tweet things out like this is the most left wing ticket that we've ever seen in history. Republicans are going to do that no matter what. And I think this was a decision that the Harris campaign looked at and said, you know, what are they going to throw against all of these candidates? How is it going to impact this excitement that we are now facing? We were excited already. And I, I have not. My phone won't stop lighting up. Uh, you know, the, the Internet is blowing up with Walt's memes uh, and old quotes and, you know, finding him uh, in videos from 20 years ago. I was on Bernie Sanders campaign in 2016. This reminds me of that feeling. I was on uh, I was on former President Obama's 2008 campaign. I feel that again. But I also think that we are wiser and we are more aware of what we are facing uh, with Trump's campaign. And we're not taking anything for granted. Trump has a very excited base. Uh, the Republicans are known for their dirty tactics in this country. So I think that we're hopeful, we are excited, but we're also being very prepared for what obstacles we may face. Indeed. Thank you very much for joining us and bringing us up to date on American politics. That's our um, former Democratic National Committee.